as you can see hundreds of backing me in right now to a place where this boat probably should not be but we just gonna troll mud around for a while try to catch some hunter's personal best is a 4-2 so today the goal is to catch a 4-3 and not me her so there's some big ones living in here same place me and matt came the other day so it's gonna be a fun day hopefully hunter can catch some she's got her two rods rigged up that i better not touch let's go catch some fish she's backing me in now Oh, big and oh my goodness, two or three big ones. Gosh. There he is. That ain't the big and there's one bigger. But that is a big one. Don't you come off of there, dude. Get up in here. Get up in here. I know, living in this hydrilla. Look at that thing right there. Can you take a picture with that frog sticking out of his mouth like that? Get my phone. Big and big and oh my God. God almighty. Gosh, dude. Holy crap. I don't know if I can. Well, he ain't that big. Yeah, get him. Nope. <laughs> Woo, that's a freaking giant. That is a little piglet right there, dude. That's fat. Dang, man, how big is he? That's awesome. Can you keep him for a little while? Look at that one, dude. Crunched it. Oh, that's cool. I love frog fishing. We might hit something right here. And that, that sound is so cool. What's better than that sound, honey? Little butter balls, man. Nice ones. Smashing it, man. Look how that one ate that thing. Check it out. Dang, live well is loud, though. You don't even ask me where this place at because I'm not telling. A bunch of people know, but not telling anybody new. Big and, I mean big and daggum, dude. That sucker's all head, though. Look at that. Dang. Man. Sure, why not? If I 
it go, we're going to go crazy. That's a good one. Yeah, sucker ate it, dude. Freaking crunched it. Oh. You got one? I had one. Oh my you god. You sure did. Big. It was so big. Oh my god. Get I back. got wrapped around that tree. Get back in there. Get him. Get him. Set the hook freaking oh, hard. Come. Hard, hard. Set the hook hard and real. Real. Oh Set the God. hook freaking hard it's and real. Good, good, Just, real. Just, oh freaking real. Just freaking real. Just freaking real. Swing him in here. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. There was like, it must have been three or four under there. I lost. I didn't have the rod in my hand for like a couple of seconds. Oh, thank you, fish. Thank you, fish. Thank you, fish. It's always fun, always fun. Me and Hunter have had a blast out here. More me than Hunter, but it's fun out here. Alabama, end of July, smashing them. Boom. Today was my worst day of fishing and one of Kyle's best days of fishing ever. I would not say it was one of my best days ever. But it he was caught a good so day. many fish and they were big. I did catch some good quality and I had a three over four pounds, which is tough for mid July, especially in Alabama. Anyways, there's few things more satisfying in bass fishing than seeing a bush with like a berry or a, any kind of target that's extremely hard to hit and making a cast and you know presenting the bait properly and then getting a bite straight away like that is the most satisfying thing in bass fishing all these wasted years it all comes together in that two second span where that fish blows up on that frog in that bush ton of fun the equipment i'm using i'm gonna let hunter tell y'all about it because i'm sure she knows we had fun today caught a bunch of fish hunter let them know what rod, reel, and line I was using today. <laughs> um, I don't know. He was using a pride rod. 7.3. I don't know this. Why are you going to ask me? <laughs> okay. So I was using 60 pound, 8 strand K9. As I've told you before, the 8 strand K9 is thicker than the 9 strand. So I use 60 pound, 8 strand for a frog. 7 foot 6. Extra heavy, moderate fast pride. Y'all can see on these hook sets. That rod has a ton of power, but it loads. It's, all, it's pretty parabolic, you know, especially for a frog rod. It loads big time. It allows me to really, you know, I don't lose many fish on that rod. Y'all can tell today all the fish got it choked. I don't lose any. I drive the hooks good. So that's what uh, me and a lot of my friends that have been frog fishing for a while, we've all used more moderate rods than most people. They're still really, really powerful rods, but they're pretty moderate. So I'm using a 7'6", extra heavy, pride, moderate fast rod. A Shimano Corrado 70 XG, that's 8.2 to 1 gear ratio, 60 pound K9. That's a Spro popping frog, as always. That's it. That's all I got to say. I'll see y'all in the next video. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. See y'all.